up the small coronal holes towards center disk. Solar wind and solar flaring are quiet. The sunspots really haven't developed or decayed too much, but they are small and not very active. The CME we mentioned is from the northern filament. It came in behind the coronal hole. Yesterday erupted a halo CME. Halo because it looks like a faint circle emerging around the central blocking disk. That means it's headed this way. And on stereo A with Earth off to the right, we see the eruption does span geo-effective latitudes. NASA's Enlil Spiral is updated to show the impact coming late on the 26th or early on the 27th. It's going to be a direct hit but it is not very dense or moving quickly. Expect minor geomagnetic storms at most. There was another eruption this morning, but it was a filament off the far side, and the CME is visible in the last frames of SOHO. Folks, that CME is vastly greater than the one coming at Earth, but it is still not at scary levels. Top quake of the last day was a six-pointer in Russia. Luckily, those islands take big ones regularly and are of relatively low population. And we're on to our bit of happiness.